Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to our new Chapter 3 math, math Lesson 1. Before we begin, though, I'd like you to make sure that you have all the materials that you need, okay, such as your math textbook, whiteboard and marker, connecting cubes, okay, pencil and eraser. And if you don't have those nearby, please pause and return. Okay, so today I'm excited we're starting a new chapter and our lesson for today is count on one, two, or three, okay? And our essential question, how do I use strategies to add numbers? Now remember, strategies are ways that we can use, things we can use, or a process we can use to find something out. So in this case, we're going to learn strategies to add numbers. And by the end of this chapter, we can add, make it an I can use strategies to add numbers. Okay, so here's our problem of the day. So get whatever material ready that you would like to use to help solve this. Okay, and I'll read it to you first. There are eight children on the playground. Four of the children are boys. How many of the children are girls? All right, so for me today, I am going to be using, oops, wrong one. I'm going to use uh, drawing. So I'm going to draw eight shapes. I don't say circles because they never come out as, say, there you go, as good as a circle. So just shapes, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there are eight children on the playground, and they said that four of them are boys, and they want to know how many are girls. So if we know that four are boys, I'm going to put a line through the four that I know are boys. One, two, three, four, checking my work, and then see how many are girls. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's look and see. Yep, there we go. We have got four girls. All right. Now our next warm up here is going to be a practice of which number sentence matches the picture. Okay, so again, let's go and determine what are some things that we know. All right, so the first group of bicycles, there are three. Okay. The next group of bicycles, there are four. And I like to do this because this way, I don't forget when I start looking at these numbers and it makes it very confusing to have to keep recounting. Okay, so they're addition. So I'm going to make sure, all right, that's right. Did I hear somebody say that they're related uh, or fact family if we did this, if we counted all of them together? Well, let's do that. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. And the reason I decided to count all together, I noticed that these are all addition problems right here. So I know that they're going to ask for the sum. Now, remember I said the easiest way or the least confusing way to determine which one matches the picture is to look at the three numbers we're working with, three, four, and seven, and let's say, well, there's a four, there's no three or seven, not that one. There's a three, no, no one, and a four, but this should be a seven if we were going to have to choose it. Six, two, eight, no, nope. three, four, seven. Okay, let's look here. Three, there's a three, four, there's a four, seven. So this is our choice right here. Okay, three plus four equals seven. Okay, and to double check, there we go. All right, so now we are going to do a little bit more investigation with our math. Part of it is we want to figure out how can you count on to add. So let's think. Well, I could use fingers. I could use counting cubes. And I could also use a drawing like I did in the first one. So tell your adult how you can count on to add. 
you know what, while you were away, I remembered another thing. That once I have all those things down, I can then count them all together to get them to add. Okay, so that's, that's something we could do. All right, so let's further investigate our map here. And this one says, choose a number between two and 10. Um, I think I'm going to pick eight. I like that number. I don't know why. You know how everybody has a number that they, they prefer? Well, eight is one of the numbers that I like. All right, so choose a number between two and 10. I did that. Count on to add two and complete the addition sentence. Okay, so we chose, or I chose, the number eight. So what I would like you to do is to follow along with me, and then we'll talk about practicing on your own more later. Okay, so counting on. Counting on means what comes next. All right, so ready? What number, when I count to three, I want you to tell me on the screen, what number comes after eight? right nine oh I already heard somebody tell me ten <laughs> you're very good with your numbers okay so when we count on and they we had to put a number for each line it was eight nine ten now they are asking us to make an addition number sentence so eight oh wait they put two let's look here look at this one two so that's plus two equals 10. Okay, so they just showed us that there is a way we could count on from this addition number sentence to get another strategy, another way to solve and get the sum. All right. Okay, so for this <clears throat> next thing here, we are going to complete the first addition sentence right here. Okay, this is our last investigation before we start our chapter. Eight plus three equals what? Okay, so eight plus three. I have eight cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, I always like to check. So I know I have eight, and then I have to add three. Okay, so plus three. So I'm gonna add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so right now I know that eight plus three equals eleven. Um, use the answer to the first addition sentence to find the answer to the second. So, as much as I want to, I'm not going to use fingers, I'm not going to use counters because they asked us to look. <laughs> investigate how I can use this to make to find the sum for this all right well let's look here's an eight there's an eight three four hmm well four is the number that comes after three right three four how many more is four than three well, it's one more, but if these are the same number and here's a three and this is a four, eight plus three is 11, eight plus four equals, I think it equals 12 because a couple reasons. Three comes after four, three, four is one more than three, okay? So one more than 11 is 12. And then look, 11, 12. I believe that's, that's our answer. I think we've solved that. Let's check. Oh, they didn't tell us, but that's what it, oh, they told us in teeny tiny print, but we're right. Because we just got, went on one more. Okay, now, before we continue, if you need to pause, don't pause yet. But if you need to pause, you're going to be taking your math textbook and turning it to page 211. And I am going, oh, here goes with that silly pen again. I am going to um, leave that number up. It's an 11. And while you 
go ahead and turn to that page, okay? All right, so let's hope now we can get off of that. <clears throat> let's see, here we go. Now we'll go back to the page. There we go. Okay. Now, I know I like that crayon box. It says all his crayons left. Okay, here's the little math story for the beginning of our chapter with Explore and Explain. Okay, so it said that they, they would like us to draw a group of four crayons. Okay, so that tells me that when I draw the crayons, they should be closer together because they want a group. They don't want them scattered all around. So I'm going to draw a group of crayons, okay? And to do that, they said four. One, two. Notice I'm just, I'm just drawing lines, but I'm making believe, at imagination, making believe that they are crayons. Three and four. Okay, so there's my group of four crayons. Then they want us to draw another group of three more. But they didn't say to put them there yet. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, now for this picture of group of four and a group of three, now they want us to write our addition number sentence there. So remember the first number? That's right, four. Print four. Okay, one, two, three. Three. Okay, now we need to find our sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven crayons. Okay, you know, one of the things I notice is, I mean, we got our answer, but I remember with the with the um, counting on. I think that that would help us solve these um, easier. So let's go look right now and check the <clears throat> it's the um, see and show. Here we go and see what they say about counting on. Up oh, here it is. You can count on to add. There are five crayons in the group and two more crayons. All right, I always like to look at the hints. Helpful hint, start with the greater number, which in this case is five. Count on two more, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Well, that sounds pretty, uh, pretty simple. Let's check it out. So as they said, there's five. Now, one of the things that I like to do is just say five is in my head and then they want us to count on two more. Now, five is on my in my head, and they already put the lines here, okay? So we know five, six, seven. Here is five plus two equals seven. Notice the sum matches the last number that we counted to, okay? And we know to count on two more because they put the lines here. For us to do okay so let's continue on to see what they would like us to practice all right use use connecting cubes start with the greater number and count on to add <clears throat> okay so let's see the math sentence is seven plus three okay now I'm not going to get seven connecting cubes because well, seven's gonna be in my head. So I'm just going to get three yellow, all right? I just grabbed the yellow ones first and I made sure I had three. So I'm going to first practice using this. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven, start with the greater number. Greater, remember, is larger. Greater, seven, eight, nine, 10. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys and girls. Okay, so now I'm going to print. So I should come out with the same the way I did it here. Seven, eight, I think it's going to work. Nine, ten. Yep. 
So 7 plus 3 equals 10. <coughs> okay. Let's move on. And there it is. Okay. Now, <coughs> use the connecting cubes. Start with the greater number. Count on to add. Okay, 6 plus 2. So 6 is the greater number. And you know what? Something else I like to do. Just so I remember, I'm going to, in my math sentence, I'm going to circle the larger or the greater number. So I remember what number do I start with in my head. So right here, it's 6. And then I'm going to count on 2. So I have two connecting cubes, all right? Six, seven, eight. All right, try it again. Six, seven, eight. All right, now I'm going to write the numbers. Six, seven, eight. Look at that. Okay, so six plus two equals eight. Okay, all right. So that's how we, here's our answer. All right, let's look. Well, let's, let's talk about how to count on to add 5 plus 3. All right. So I would like you to touch the screen where it says 5 plus 3. I'd like you to touch the number that's there that is the greater number. Okay, ready? I'm going to circle the greater number. Oops, nope, nope, here we go. So this is the greater number. Okay, so everybody, we say that there's five in our head, and now I'm going to count on using my three cubes. Five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. All right? Very good. So <clears throat> I want you to pause and show your adult how you counted just now. I bet you did a great job. All right. On my own. All right. You know what? We're going to do a couple together, and then you're going to practice, okay? Start with the greater number. Count on to add. Okay. So first thing we should do, Circle the greater number for number three. Five plus three. What's the greater number? Five. Okay. How many are we going to have to add? Three. So I'm going to make sure I have three cubes. One, two, three. Okay. So five is in my head. Six, seven, eight. That's right. So print the eight, your answer, the sum. Okay. All right. Number four. 8 plus 3, which is the greater number. Circle it. Okay, remember, that's going to help us to remember where we're counting on from. Okay, and again, we're adding 3. So 8 is in my head. 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. All right, so that's what you are going to do for the rest of this, okay? You can pause, and when you come back, check your answer. But remember, circle the greater number first, because that will help you what's in your head. All right? So pause and complete. Come back and check. Okay. All right. So we see our first two answers we got correct. Okay. Now remember, boys and girls, if by some chance <clears throat> you have made a mistake, which is perfectly okay, that's how we learn, okay? I would like you <clears throat> not just to erase the answer, but remember, circle the larger number, keep that in your head, and count on, okay? And then I bet you see, but make sure when you count, this stays in your head, and then go to the next number on your counter, okay? All right, here we go. Start with the greater number, count on to add, pause, and complete. Okay, check your answers.
All right, if you're still checking, pause. And the last section here, start with the greater number, circle the greater number on your math sentences, and count on to add. Pause and complete. Okay. All right, if you're still checking, please pause the video. Now, look at this, vertical. You guys are pros. All right, I'll show, I'll do one with you. I'll do number 15 with you, okay? Because it doesn't really change, it's just the direction. Eight plus two, which is the greater number. Circle that now. Okay, and how many are we gonna count on? We're gonna count on two. Eight is in my head, nine, 10. All right, now remember on remember vertical, I said do your best to keep your numbers in line, okay? Because when you get into the older grades, your teacher's gonna remind you to do the same thing and you're gonna already know how to do that. Okay, pause and complete. All right, you ready? Here are the sums. Yes, I know they put them over here, but <clears throat> that's just how they do that. You know how to write them underneath. Okay, here we go for some problem solving. Oh, let's see. Bella sees two buses. Then she sees three more buses. How many buses does she see in all? Well, guess what? We don't have to count. We don't have to have a whole bunch of cubes. We can still do the same thing that we were just doing with the math number sentences. What's the greater number in this math problem? That's right. The three is the greater number. So I'm going to circle that. And how many are we going to count on? She sees two buses. All right. So we always start. I know they said she sees three and uh, two and then three more. But remember, start with the greater number and count on by the other number. Okay, so three is in my head and she sees two more. Four, three, four, five. So she saw five buses in all, okay? Now let's check our answer. There you go, five. All right, now the next one, I will read it to you, but I would like you to pause and solve it on your own and then come back and check. Jake saw five cars in the morning. He saw three more cars in the evening. How many cars did Jake see in all? Pause and solve. Eight, good job. Okay, now let's look <clears throat> at our problem solving for right math. Explain how you count on to find three plus seven. Okay, well, I, again, what's the larger or the greater number here? <clears throat> the seven. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put, we're going to count, right? We begin, oops, typo, at seven <clears throat> and count on three. But that's not just the final way to do it. I would like to show better. So I'm going to put seven, seven, right? And then I'm going to put here eight, nine, 10, Oops. 10. So what does three plus seven equal? What's it equal boys and girls? That's right, it equals 10. So remember, seven is in our head and we count up three. Seven, eight, nine, 10. So three plus seven equals 10. Okay, so you did a great job 
with our lesson here. We are going to practice counting on a little more and maybe I'll give you one or two challenges. Okay, boys and girls. So wonderful job as usual and I will see you with our math group. Bye-bye.